Are you ready for this sickness? Let's get into it. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. So, before this video starts, um, I just wanted to let you know that I'm scared of actually doing this video. Um, the, the, all the results are back. Um, I have the book I, completely done. I will give a brief summation of everything at the very end. Uh, but this is a scary video for me. Um, I've always wanted to make it, and it's done, and I don't know what the repercussions are going to be. But one book, three companies, it took a long time. You're going to see videos that I compiled over the last whatever long it has been, five, six months, um, all put together. So we're going to go ahead and start now. It's going to start off with me grading the book, and this was at the very beginning. And then every company, and at the end, the last final reveal, and then I'll give a summation. Um, fingers crossed, I don't get attacked from all sides, but whatever. This had to be done, and it's quite revealing and uh, scary. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Sick! <laughs> okay, guys, at first glance, this thing... looks like near mint right it does it does but it's not I'm gonna tell you why okay so first I got the light that's lifting up that is not flat okay so what does that mean I don't know let's just say nine six okay All right. there is some like is that like staining or dirt I don't know it's hard to tell now let's really get into it guys I really want you guys to see this is what a grader should do. And again, I don't know much. There's something there. You see that? I'm not going to press it. But you see how it lifts up right here? Just know when I'm, you know, just in case. This is how I grade my books. Okay. That is corner blunting or whatever you want to call it. You can see it. It's not really super spectacular, okay? Now, here's where it gets interesting. Color break. One. Okay, that's one color break. See it? Two, three, there's a ding, three ding, or three color breaks and a ding, four color breaks, ding, so four and two, we'll skip that one. Ding with color break, okay? So that's five and two. Just on the cover, but remember how pretty it was? It's so pretty, right? So I'm writing that down. Five and two. You got this. You got the color, you got the blunting on the corner. Look at that. See it all? I could fix all that with the press, but I'm not going to. And of course, I'm super harsh, but whatever, dude. I want my shit to be bomb as shit, right? That goes there. I don't know what that you want to call that. Something there. Okay. Now. There is color stuff. You'll see it on the back. Now, I think that it's so black because the color's wrapped around. I don't know. The staples are okay. But if you look at it, you can see all the dings. See, I mean, you see them all, right? Unfortunately, there's black there, so that doesn't help. Oh, shit, there's something there. Look at all that. Oh, there's, it's like gummy. 
is like gummy shit, dude. I don't know what it is. I can feel it though. It's like black. See it? Gummy shit. Okay, let's just get to the back. That's what she said. There's a lot of shit. Okay, here we go. Corners folded down. Some little imperfections, okay? Just coloration. That's from handling damage. Some roll waviness. Now here's a big problem with this book. Look at that. All the way down. You see it? All the way down, dude. That's a major roll. Uh, yeah. Okay. Damage. Sometimes they allow for that, but it's a little excessive. All that roll, dude. Ding. One ding. Is that color breaking? Not really. It kind of looks like it, though. Two... Three, that's like a scuff. That's a color breaking ding. So, three and one, four. Let's just pretend it's not color breaking. Four and one, rough color. Okay, so I'm gonna write it down. One and four. So now we're at six and six. Six color breaking, six dings. That's a shitload. How about we put two corner blunts? I know it's not going to. I'm looking through a camera, so my writing's everywhere. Two corner blunts. Major roll on the back cover. You saw it. I mean, there it is. You had. Uh, those little minor imperfections, we won't write that down. Handling multiple, I don't know how they're going to count that, whatever. That's something, crease. That corner. There's something going on there, it's very light. These black covers are all that. This there. That color, just color. All that you can see it because it's hanging off the edge. Okay, so, now let's quickly look in the interior. I'm going to go with off-white to white. I know it's darker. I think off-white to white is probably, they might just call it off-white. Now the staples, that staple is decent, just a minor tear, decent. That one has multiple tears, but it's still decent. There's little of these normal tears. I don't know how they're going to count that. I mean, I am being super critical without flipping through the entire book. Now, let's look at this. Six color breaking ticks, six fine ticks, two corner blunt corners. Uh, the uh, major roll on the back cover. Oh yeah, there was a stain, like a black sticky stain, right? Black sticky stain. Uh, there was a couple other stains, I'm gonna need to write that down. A uh, couple little small cuts on the interior paper, small cuts interior, and minor uh, staple cut. Every, the staple is fine, off-white, now, with all that shit, and you just saw it, what would you grade this book at? Okay? You ask yourself that while we wait. While I wait. Actually, right now, because it's all going to be in one video, it's just going to take six months to make. Um, and, you know, a grip load of money. 
But you look at this book right now and look at that. Oh man, look at that. It's near mint. You know? All you have to do is go like this and boom, you know it ain't. Okay? You know it's not. I would venture to say just by looking at that, we're looking at an 8. <laughs> I've had VFs that were sharper than this. So, I don't know. And then you got all the little problems, which is pressable, but I'm not going to get abreast. I want to test these guys. That ding. We don't went through all of it. There's just stuff everywhere. And, of course, all the dings. You really got to look, but, dude, don't you expect them to do that? They're there. We counted them together. So, what would I say? I would say... I love it. It's sharp on the front. Uh, but, dude, it's got to be under a 7.5. You can't have six color breaking dings, six regular dings, two corner bonds, uh, major spine roll on the back. You got super black sticky crap on the cover. And there's another stain right there. You got uh, some minor staple. I think they allow some small cuts inside. I think they allow as well as the corner bone. And off white, dude. Yeah, I would venture to see, even say worse, dude. I know it sounds crazy. So that's it. I'm filling out my four. I'm sending it to PGX. This could be incredible video. We're going to grade them all because the cover looks so good. But are they grading the book? Are they really grading? They're standards, guys, that we need to live by. So there you go. Here comes the test. Hey guys, welcome back to Economics Comics. So the first phase is complete of three phases. PGX is back. The book. Where I graded and everything. Well, of course, this is the same video, so whatever. Uh, I, I, a total they charged me is $32.50. It took over three weeks to get here, which isn't bad. I mean, that's the bonus of using them. I mean, you can tell right now that it's the same book. You can see the roll right there. And I'm going to clear. I'm going to make sure you understand it's the same book. By showing you the stain. Right where the A is. After amazing. A-M-A. -A, surrounding the A. Are all the black stains. It's like sticky black stuff. Okay. So that's the same book. Okay. 9.2 with PGX. Now I expected that. Um, I expected it to be a lot higher. I guess the true te test is what's CGC and CBS going to do. So I'm going to send it to CBS next and then finish off with CGC. Um, <laughs> dude, it's just way too high. It looks beautiful, but we got done grading the book. You saw all the sticks. You saw all the, ro the ticks, the rolls. I mean, they're all there, man. Everything's still there. Um, 9.2, near mint minus. That's what PGX says. So, I am going to crack open this book now <laughs> and send it to CBCS. I might come back really fast, tell you how much it costs me and all that. I do want to say something about PGX. You know, I'm not trying to destroy these guys. This is a learning thing for me. And, uh, I mean, rumor is always that PGX grades are really high. I've seen it a million times. Um, you look at this and you go, oh, yeah, that's an intermittent minus. Look at it. I mean, it's pretty nice. But we looked at it, guys. We really looked at it like we were supposed to, how they're supposed to. We spend money so that they can do that. A lot of people use this company, sorry, guys, PGX, to get higher grades. And this is proof of it, I believe. Oh, dude, I'm definitely keeping the labels. It'll be a perfect thumbnail. <laughs> so there's my label, guys. Boom. Put that in the old biggity box. Let's pull this sucker out of the... That's it. It's done. It's out. Look at that. 9-2. No. Mm -mm. Let's see what they do inside. Do they put any paper inside? No. Smells like the same book. They also said off-white pages. I think they're probably right on that. I think it's more off-white to white, in my opinion. 
But yeah, there it is. I'm going to put it right back into another bag and board, and I'm going to send it. I'm not going to damage it. Nothing's going to happen. Hey, guys. Well, here we go. I got my book back from CBCS. Now, this is a little bit startling to me. Um, I thought they would be harsher. But it only took like three to four weeks to get my book back, which I thought was pretty awesome, first of all. But the book came back as an 8.5. Okay? So, initial raw estimate was a 9.4. Not my estimate, where I bought it from. Um, I thought it was in the 7.5, 7, five, seven area, somewhere in there. I mean, it looks beautiful again. But now we have PGX gave it a 9.2. So we've dropped two spots now from a 9.290 to 8.5 with CBCS. Now, what I do like about this is this. On the back of CBCS, they have this thing, this uh, little square. You put your camera over it and it opens up this thing so you can read what's wrong with the book, the creator's notes. Now, I don't know if you remember but I found like six color breaking spine ticks, six other ticks, fold on the back, uh, a bunch of stuff. Now, here's what they're, they're, they found. They call it off white to white. They say spine stress front and back cover breaks color. So they found it, but I don't know if they found them all. Long vertical spine bend spine back, small edge bend back covers and light foxing front cover and interior cover. So I saw all that. I, you know, I talked about the line on the back, the foxing on the corners, and, and they, they don't tell you how many spine ticks or whatever, but what they did miss, and what you can't see on the camera right now, for some reason it's not there. Well, there's something there. I have to take it out. But there's this black stuff right here, which is interesting because it's hard to see right now, almost as though they cleaned it. But I know it's the same book because of this roll. So, of course, the book has a scratch on it. That's one thing about CBCS I find a lot of. When you get it, sometimes there's scratches. See, it's a scratch. It just unboxes. So, I'll, uh, I'm, I'm I'm, I'll crack this really fast. We're at 8.5 with CBCS now. Okay, I got it out. I've got my label now. I've got my two labels. CGC is next. And uh, what's interesting is there was staining above the A double A. I know you guys seen it because you've been watching this video it's gone like it's the same book i no doubt it's the same book you can tell by this and the roll but what happened i don't know maybe from the in and out of bags or the pressing or something s took it off on the plastic i don't know dude but that's kind of weird i think i still see one little speck left on there so this guy, same book still, is heading off to CGC. Now, honestly, guys, I expect a tougher grade. It's from CGC. I expect the toughest. Look, I had an X-Men 94 that had one spine tick. One. And it was beautiful. And it was getting a seven, it got a seven five. So dude, if this comes back, if it doesn't come back a seven five or less, I mean, again, you guys, it's beautiful. But with the roll on the back and all the ticks and all the stuff I found on it, then I'm, ha I'm, I'm already having serious doubts with all these companies. Am I grading too hard or am I grading how they should be grading? Because when I send a 9.8 to them, 
there is absolutely nothing wrong. And I graded it the same way I graded this at the beginning. Nothing wrong. So if that holds true, then I should be getting 10.0s if I'm getting, you know what I mean? This is an 8.5. I should be getting 10.0s on the books I send them, my personal perfect books. So I'm really interested to find out. This is very interesting to me. Um, and I hope it's interesting to you. Let's keep going, okay? I don't want to make this video too long. Next stop, CGC. Okay, guys, the day is here. I finally have the last book from CGC. I know I look really horrible. I am super tired. But I just, they just knocked on my door. I got it. I just want to finish this video. It's been so long. That's what she said. So I'm going to, uh, after this, I'm going to give like a summary of everything. And I'm just going to show you the book. And we're just going to get right into the summary because this is like in my mind ridiculous we we graded the book you saw all the issues We've got my other two companies done we're on cgc so are you ready for cgc's grade of the book that's been around the world a nine two white pages same book the highest grade out of all the companies. I mean, I am in shock. I thought for sure that this would be the book that uh, I could say, look guys, they're the best. Like, look how hard they graded. Look, my grade was right. I know what I'm doing, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? All this did was confuse me more. So, let's stick around for the final summation. I think this is crazy that they gave the highest grade out of all the companies. They even gave it higher than PGX. So, either I am still asleep right now and dreaming, or this is real. And I think it's real. If you have any doubt about this book at all, Go back to when we're grading it. There's too many problems with the book. <laughs> so let's sum it up right now. Stick with me. Thanks for watching this whole video. Uh, summation's coming up next. Just a couple minutes long, probably. Hey, guys. So it's funny. I filmed this summary over and over and over again. And I needed to take a step back and uh, look at it objectively, I guess. Not to ruffle too many feathers, but, you know, the the video is clear. Um, I guess I'll just start at the beginning and we'll end. I I personally thought that that, from, from years of experience, that that book with all those problems was going to be like a 7.5, you know. Um, I, I definitely expected PGX to be a higher grade just from all the years and people talking about stuff. And nothing to take against them, but they have their own way they grade you know um they're fast and they, i like their case and everything like that but on the resale market uh you know people go to cgc so i think it was interesting we, we got past that i truly believe that they graded that much higher than it was supposed to be um we get to cbcs and i was expecting a, a, a harder grade and I received that. Now, I know there's been a lot of issues with CBCS, and this isn't a CBCS commercial at all. But with the purchase by, you know, Beckett or BGS over a year ago or whatever, um, and the move that they had, there was a lot of problems in getting your books back on time, uh, delays, and when they move, of course, they got to hire new graders. But I truly believe that their grade was the closest and most accurate to what that book was. Now, again, I'm not a professional grader, but I've been grading books for 20 to 25 years. Um, and, you know, I kind of followed the old CGC standard of grading. I mean, I would send in a book that had one spine tick and it was a big book and I was getting back seven fives and I was very confused. So I started to be very critical on my books um, so that when I sent them in, I would get higher grades or I would not be hurt by the results because I knew they were going to be hit hard. 
So in regard to CBCS, I think they have their act together, guys. Um, to knock them down and say they're no good, I think is a mistake. I think with uh, Beckett taking over, I mean, they are the highest standard in regard to grading cards and coins and all that. Um, they made a big deal about it. Uh, it's a big deal. And now that they're all situated and they have everything set, their turnaround times are really fast. And um, although I don't like the CBCS case as much as I like the other two cases, which is weird. Anyway, I think that their grading, at least on this one book, was pretty close or spot on. I mean, maybe I was a little harsh, and maybe it was about an 8 and 8.5. They said 8.5, but just from the years and years of seeing this. So now we move into CGC, and this was the, this is the most difficult part of this video is because it's amazing. I, I just, I'm absolutely shocked that CGC gave me the highest grade, 9 to white pages. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind those are not white pages. Um, they're just not. And that's okay, um, but I hold them to the highest of standards. And there's a lot of stuff we can talk about here. Um, it's just so crazy to me. Well, the first thing I'm going to say is this. I have a lot of other books over there right now that are been graded and are on the way here. Now, I personally graded those other books myself. They're older and they're more key and they're right on the money. It's very weird to me. Some are a little off, some are a little on, but they're very close to my personal grades, these other books that are coming back now. But this book like slipped through the cracks or something. Now I admit at the beginning, I was like, this is a sleeper book. It looks beautiful, but if you really look at it like you're supposed to, you'll see that it does not qualify to that standard. Um, so the question is, I guess there's two questions, to put it kindly. Um, number one, do they have too many graders uh, that uh, are inexperienced because they have to hire so many because there's so many books being sent to them and they're just not checking the book? And that brings up another question. Uh, from what I believe, CGC had three stages of checking. One, and then they double check, and then they triple check, like a quality control system. Um, and could it have slipped through the cracks three times? I just, I don't know what's going on. Uh, is If you get your book graded on a certain day, are you getting worse graders than you would another day? Um, I don't know. This is all up for debate. Uh, the other question is, is CGC giving higher grades now to compete with CBCS? Like maybe they feel threatened. Um, that's just pure speculation. It's a question that I'm offering up. I truly think, and I'm, I don't want to make enemies here. I will continue to use CGC. Uh, but when the buyout happened and they introduced the exchange program where you can send a book in from another company and regrade and blah, blah, blah. It was, it was just a way of getting more business from these other companies. I truly think that there is a fear that BGS or CBCS is making moves and it's scary. Um, I don't think they had to worry about CBCS that much in the past, but with the purchase of BGS, I mean, this is the only thing I can think guys. I mean, I really don't know. I truly believe out of the three companies, CBCS graded my book the best out of them according to my standards that I've learned over the years from CGC. And I'm just very confused. Um, as I said before, I have other books over there and I've seen the results and they're pretty on target to what I thought they were, which is really interesting. So is it a, a grader issue? Do they need to go through other graders and kind of overwatch them? I mean, I've heard they have over 100 graders um, and say, okay, you're doing it wrong. I'm sorry, but we, we got to let you go. Um, like a quality control thing or something? Or are they just, just so many questions. Now, you know, I'm not trying to attack them, 
But this video and the results are absolutely shocking to me. I never in my wildest dreams thought this would be the end result. I thought with a, a shadow of the doubt, CGC was gonna give me a 7.5. Like, it's happened to me over and over and over again with them. And this is kind of just the exact, I was hoping to get that book and go, oh my God, see, I told you they're the best or whatever. And I am confused now. I mean, I've seen a lot of people getting nine eights and I've seen this in the past year. Nine eights with double color breaking spindings. And I know that doesn't qualify. I guess the last question or thing I'd like to pose to everybody, uh, PGX, CBCS, CGC is, there has gotta be a standard. There has gotta be a standard where you guys are all following the same playbook because I don't know how your grading systems, guys. I mean, you might say it is a certain thing, but you don't say everything. So every different grading company has a different standard. I guess that's what comes to the final say. But uh, I'm just, abs th there needs to be a standard um, in my mind because all these grading companies have their pluses and minuses. Uh, but this is um, shocking results to say the least. Now again, I've filmed this summation multiple times. One was just pure anger and confusion. One was like, basically they were both like that. So I've had to film it again. And this was gonna be my final thought. So overall, I think if there was a winner for grading in regard to my standards, and you guys saw my standards when I graded it, you saw all the imperfections, CBC CS wins this battle. I will do another CGC unboxing coming soon and I'll talk about the grades that I thought and we'll get them back and we'll look at them and they are closer to my thoughts. I just, this one just slipped through, I guess. But I mean, that begs the big question, what's going on over there? Um, I can't believe this is how the video ends. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of heat on this one. And uh, hey, you from beginning to end, you guys saw it. It took a lot of time, it took a pretty good deal of money. I'll uh, send this book over to EGS, Thomas Grading, new company coming up. I'm gonna have them crack it, uh, grade it, give me a colored label or something, and put on the label. Uh, and this is not an EGS Commerce Grading commercial. It's just something funny I thought I would do, uh, like the book that toured the grading companies. And I'll probably do a giveaway or something with it. It should be interesting. But I, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, I hope it was worth the time. See ya. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you wanna use any of these coupon codes, go ahead. It's all there for you to use and abuse. Please check out this sick video next. And again, please hit that like button, throw a comment down, and please subscribe. Love you guys, stay sick, see you later.